but we're going to start tonight with something a little bit different. The best athletes in the world are those who are able to overcome adversity. Mark Tipler is a budding professional fisherman who is hooked on fishing and he's hooked on life. He took the worst moment of his life and with strength and determination, he is making it his way of life, an inspiration for all of us. Eric Gisselson has the story. It's a beautiful day. Perfect. Hang on to your hats. Blue skies. Life today is a Willie Nelson song for professional tournament fisherman Mark Tipler. Blue skies, smiling at me. Nothing but blue skies do I see. Do you want to talk about the meaning of fishing? He can talk for hours. We got on some bass that so were sitting off a milfoil uh, weed line uh, with a jig worm. If you want to talk about the meaning of life, that comes down to one single solitary minute that's redefined the life of this now 40-year-old Minnesota angler. My whole life changed in that minute, minute and a half. For Mark Tipler, growing up on Rose Street in Roseville was as good a childhood as you could get. His All-American upbringing, among other things, featured dreams of becoming a pro football player. But at the age of 18, while Tipler was helping his brother on a basement home remodeling project, dreams went up in smoke. A basement fire turned Tipler's dream childhood into an instant nightmare. And just started as a trickle of flames across the floor, but then all of a sudden the air just exploded and just went up. My brother Doug was lucky enough where all he had to do was just turn and, and run up the stairs and, and he was out. I had to make a decision whether I was going to run through the flames to get to the stairs or just back up in that bedroom, close the door and try getting out through the window. So that's what I decided to do. Fire is coming through the wall and with it being mineral spirits, it's burning at over 3,000 degrees. I started busting the window out with my hand to get some oxygen. Of course, that fed the fire, too. I arrived at the window it was just as soon as he put his fist through. And when he did, he severed all the tendons in his hand. And uh, as he pulled his fist back through, it was when uh, myself and Mr. DeMars, the general contractor, kicked the window in. And thank God, two hands came out. Stuck my arm out. And by that time, the contractor was there, too, Mr. DeMars and was able to grab my other arm, and they were finally able to pull me out. Dazed and confused, Mark Tipler was ambulanced to the burn center at St. Paul's Regents Hospital, the scene of his final memory of his life-changing event. There was a priest alongside the bed with the holy water sprinkling on me and giving me my last rites. And uh, that was the last thing I remembered. The reason Tipler can't remember anything more is, following the fire, his doctors put him in a two-month-long drug-induced coma. It was a very critical situation. Handy Keen was Tipler's critical burn care nurse. Mark had some things in favor, and that was his age and his health, and so we know that, but we always have to look at the possibilities that no matter what, this could be a critical injury that, that someone may not survive. Tipler did survive, partly because of his age and health, but mostly because of his attitude. He had every reason in the world to be negative about life. Why? I mean, God, look at the planet we live on and stuff. There's just too much to enjoy. Look at that fish. Instead, Mark Tipler chose to be positive. If you have no control over it, why sit and beat yourself up about it and, and bum out about it? Time and medicine have healed a lot of physical and psychological wounds over the years for Mark Tipler, but one thing has stayed with him, and that's a need to give back. So Mark Tipler is going to take his passion for fishing with hopes of helping out people who were once in the same boat he was. There's one. Next month, oh, Tipler will throw his first ever charity fishing tournament for patients of the region's hospital burn center. They don't have to give up on their dreams, their hopes and desires for for their lives and in their future. Want more proof? These days, Mark Tipler is a rising star on Minnesota's professional bass tour. <laughs> He's even learned the art of using humor to help heal his scars. Uh, so the skin on my hands now is from my shins. And they did a pretty, pretty good job of knitting me a pair of gloves. I just thank them for not 
not making them mittens. <laughs> so. So, so Mark Tipler can move on in life saying that blue skies and what's beyond are smiling on me. There is a God. There is a God. There is a God. I, I, I truly believe that. Push on. Through what I've been through, there's definitely a God. There is a, a higher purpose. There is, you know, we're, 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 we're definitely blessed, all of us. Nothing but blue sky. From now on. Oh. Nice story and nice bass. Uh, Mark's first annual bass tournament will be held July 9th on Forest Lake. For more information, you can check it out on the internet at MN. BassTour.com. That's MNBassTour.com. All the proceeds will help burn victims.